My background is a bit unusual. I studied biology at school at AgroParisTech in Paris. I uh, started my career in aquaculture, uh, which is not very common. I started an IT career then in 2001 um, by working at uh, Unilog, which was at the time a system integrator in France. And I left the company in 2012, where I actually started to work on my own project with my, uh, my uh, other co-founders. DataIQ is a software vendor that provides a collaborative data science platform. We enable every organization to build their own machine learning algorithms, whether they are for um, fraud detection, um, marketing optimization, or even predictive maintenance. Um, and the idea is to bring everybody in a company, not just the data scientists, around the table so that they can build collaboratively those algorithms. When we decided to launch our US operation uh, back in 2015, uh, we considered either New York uh, or San Francisco. Um, and for us, New York is obviously a big hub for financial services, media, or consulting companies, which are like big sectors for that IQ. So that uh, we, we thought it would be a better idea to be in fact close to our clients. Also, the time difference is way more favorable with six hours between Paris and New York compared to San Francisco. And it was definitely easier for us in terms of uh, collaboration of our teams. The biggest challenge that we had to face when we first arrived was definitely on the hiring front. The market is uh, way more competitive than in France in terms of attracting the right talents. The salaries are way bigger and uh, even if we knew it, uh, I think it just took us like several months if not uh, at least one year to get used to the market differences and, uh, and start hiring the right people. My, my advice for French entrepreneur that wants to establish a, a U.S. presence would be to hire as soon as possible uh, American people and other uh, international employees uh, when they are in France and start developing the business from, from there uh, because it will be much easier whenever they want to open an office uh, in New York City but also in other parts of the world to already have clients over there. Uh, something else that we did which was very beneficial was to relocate early employees from the company in the various offices that we opened because it basically facilitated the uh, integration and uh, bridging the cultural gap. We'll be soon uh, 400 people uh, at the end of this year and almost uh, 700 at the end of 2020. We are currently in the process of opening offices in, uh, in Germany and also launching our field operations in um, Asia and Pacific, in Singapore, as well as in Australia, uh, in Sydney. Our goal is really to become the leader in our category of data science platform. And uh, so far, I would say we're on a very good track to achieve that. Mm -hmm.